Now, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukaide Ariwola, has assured Nigerians of a free and transparent uh, a free, transparent transfer of power to another democratically elected government come 2023 and provide more access to the justice for the citizenry. Ariwola also promised to leave a legacy of irreversible judicial independence in Nigeria. The legal luminary spoke at Ishei, an agrarian community of Oyo State, uh, where indigents are bordered by what they termed a plethora of confusing court judgments and are stressing the importance of the judiciary to community development. Before the emergence of Judge Sariwala, there has not been much of top-bottom value in terms of leadership or achievement of incorruptible justice system. If we don't know him in person, I have not met him personally, but I have read a lot about him. He brought a lot of hope to the judiciary. Every person say well of him that is a point, point blank, is, is a righteous person, he speaks the truth, no matter what. And you know, having that alone, I believe even judges at magistrate court, at customary court, we need to live from that. If the head is clean and is incorruptible, then it becomes an inspiration for other judges down there. But if judges see that the top is, without mentioning name, the past CJN, you know, the kind of information, we, the news we heard about CJN collecting gifts, grafts, is not encouraging for judiciary. The leadership problem is a major challenge for judiciary in Nigeria. But we are hoping that this new leadership is going to change a lot of things. The judges or all the stakeholders in the uh, justice system, if they are playing their roles, the way it's supposed to be played. We, let's start with the judges. They have to ensure that they dispense justice without uh, favoritism, without ill will, and without uh, uh, sentiment. Once judges are ready to do that, because the problem we really have in Nigeria is not about the laws. We have a lot of laws. But the problem is enforcement. The politicians have a role to play to, and the role should be to make sure that they don't influence monetarily uh, what uh, you know the judiciary system. They should be able to work independently, like the executive and the uh, legislative uh, arms of the government. So with these people, will be able to do because uh, without the judiciary, and you know even without for the community development, like the topic implies. If people want to invest and they realize that, okay, if they feel like somebody cheated them or something, even foreigners, if they don't have a strong judiciary system and independent judiciary system, they will be scared to come and do, you know, invest in our life. in a committee is where anybody elected into the Green Chamber can make a difference. Whether you want to make a difference in education, you want to make a difference in health, you must belong to that committee. If I'm, if I'm to serve in the committee of, uh, uh, say, judiciary, the best I could do is to look at what are the challenges they're facing right now. And what we're talking